Greetings to all anonymous members, and, to every activist watching this video from around the world. We of Anonymous have taken it upon ourselves, with the help of countless others, the daunting task of awakening the masses. Exposing the corporate and political corruption that has become a play into our well-being, and has threatened our very principles and our way of life. The awakening has largely been a success, with a resurgence of activism, activism and constitutional demonstrations all across America, as well as a surge from the populace of the world, demanding their own freedom and liberty. This effort has often been associated with unplugging from the system, the so-called matrix. It's time to demand the truth. It's time to demand transparency. It's time to make a moral choice. Take the blue pill, the story ends, you wake up in your bed and believe whatever you want to believe. Or, take the red pill, you stay in a dreamland and you will see how deep the dream goes. Remember, all that we are doing is offering the truth, nothing more. Time is running out, as this is your last chance to decide. After this there is no turning back. Just remember one thing. Ignoring the situation doesn't make the problem go away. We ask that you make your choice now. Just click on either the red or blue pill to make your selection. You have chosen to take the red pill, or have not made a selection just to see what would happen. You have chosen to continue watching this video and by default, have selected the red pill. For those of you who chose the blue pill, well, it doesn't matter what we say because you are no longer watching this video. For those of you who are still watching, we would like to start with an obvious truth. You have been lied to, you have been lied to, and continue to be lied to throughout your entire life. How does this make you feel? Many have described it as an overwhelming shock, often, full of every negative emotion imaginable. Anger, rage, fear, helplessness, senselessness, hopelessness, all of these emotions are perfectly normal. However, we must be mindful of how we recover from such deception. Oftentimes, we become distrustful of everything that we are told, in order to protect ourselves from sustaining any more harm to our consciousness. While it is crucial to question everything, it is also crucial to study the facts and acknowledge the truth when it is presented beyond a reason of a doubt. Remember, not every negative event that happens in the world is a false flag operation or a government conspiracy. We tend to place all the blame on those we despise, rather than examining all the facts and drawing a logical conclusion to our problems. As we awaken and unplug from one system, we systematically plug ourselves into another allowing the elite to regain a stranglehold on our lives once again. We bite into the narrative of fear, propaganda delivered by the mass media and controlled by an agenda that is in the process of trying to divide our society and brainwash our children. Instead of doing it through television they are now doing it directly through the internet, affecting more people than ever before. The narrative of fear is not limited to civilians. It is also taught to law enforcement training otherwise good peace officers to believe that everyone in the population wants to kill them, therefore everyone is a potential threat. This type of fear-mongering results in more and more innocent people being killed at the hands of trigger-happy law enforcement officials. Most defense cases involving a police officer killing someone is the cop feared their life was in jeopardy and had to defend themselves. This type of behavior is passed down from military training where soldiers are trained to kill or be killed. Police departments are being equipped with refurbished military hardware, and are often decked out in SWAT gear to conduct drug raids in family neighborhoods. 
training courses for law enforcement such as Urban Shield work with police officers to respond more like a tactical military force against their own citizenry rather than peacekeepers meant to maintain order and security. Along with the complete disregard for use of force procedures, which have also been altered over time to include more and more acceptable use of deadly force. Laws are being passed that further strip the people of these rights, criminalizing what should be considered an obligation by any self-respecting citizen of the world. Despite all of the causes for the rise of such tyranny, we see activists who do no more than blame an individual regardless of what the facts may show. Far too many people would rather stand on the street and scream fuck the police at the top of their lungs than propose legislation that calls for revised training and officer accountability. Not all police officers share the same mentality, as there are good police officers out there who uphold the law, even against one of their own. However, most cops who do the right thing are often ridiculed and pressured to look the other way by their superior officers, resulting in zero disciplinary action of the offending officer. Finally we see these examples playing out through what is supposed to be our own media. It is now common for people to disregard the mainstream media as being fact. Listen to by the masses on any given story, we often criticize media for taking things out of context and manipulating a story to suit their own opinion rather than presenting the facts without alteration. We know that nothing is fair and balanced because all too often a story with multiple facilitators only has one side. There is always more than one side to any story and it is a conscious decision to pretend there is not. Unfortunately we are now in an age where our own independent media sources are guilty of the very practices that are condemned against the mainstream media. We are stuck in an endless loop, where we have to slide the truth from an early stage, and rather than evaluating the evidence available, people would rather seek out only the information that confirms their beliefs. Sense of integrity has been lost. Credible source material has become rare for many. The line between news and satire has been practically eliminated. The worst part of all of this is that we as a movement have allowed this to happen. For these reasons, Anonymous has decided to launch Operation Matrix. Anonymous is an idea. It is the idea that truth shall prevail. It is an idea that everyone regardless of occupation, race, religion, or background has the right to justice and freedom. It is the idea that humanity is unified in its struggles and its accomplishments. It is time to stop letting our emotions override rational thought. It is time to stop letting the system divide us amongst ourselves. This is not us versus the police. It is not us versus veterans and active duty military. It is not Christian versus Muslim, black versus white or gay versus straight. It is none of these things that the media would like you to believe. It is us versus a system that has become corrupt and refuses to change. It is time to return to the truth and uncover the facts that will allow transparency to be achieved and will allow all of us to be unplugged from the system, once and for all. We are anonymous. We are legion. We do not forgive. We do not forget. Operation Matrix is now engaged.